1 Corinthians 15, verse 58 reads, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And I simply want to encourage you on today to simply be Christ chasers. As Christ chasers, we should continually be doing our best in our service towards God, doing our best to fulfill our spiritual responsibilities, and doing our best to live out our faith in actions. So I encourage you to simply be Christ chasers. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come now thanking you for simply being a good God. Thank you for loving us in spite of ourselves. And we have great appreciation for this new day, which you have bestowed upon us. We ask you, Father, as we begin this day, to simply forgive us of our sins of omission and sins of commission and create in us a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within us, restoring to us the joy of your salvation. Now, Heavenly Father, as we strive to do our best on today, it is our prayer that you give us the mindset to walk boldly according to your will and your way. We ask you, Lord, to help us to be loving vessels to and for your glory. And we ask that when people see us, they see you, Lord. And when they see you in us, Lord, they come running asking, what must I do to be saved? We know that there are issues. There are struggles that we deal with on a daily basis, Lord. But it is our prayer that we be steadfast, immovable, and always abounding in the work that you have given us, Lord. We, it is our prayer that we do our best so our work is not in vain. So we ask you to empower us, Lord. We ask you to encourage us, Lord. And we ask you to protect us as we do what you have called us to do. We ask you, Father, to bless our churches, to bless our families, to bless those who are sick, to bless those who are struggling, Lord, and hold us all in the palm of your loving hand, letting us know that you love us more than anything. And I ask a special prayer, Lord, of those who are sick on today. I ask you simply to comfort them, Lord, and send your healing presence right where they are, Lord. And we ask you, Lord, to minister to their needs according to your will. And Father, as we prepare to go forth on today, we have great expectations, Lord, that you are going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. So we are excited on today. We are ready to move on today. We are ready to minister on today so that everything that we do and everything that we say gives you the honor, the play, praise, and the glory, Lord. We are excited about this new season that you are giving us, Lord. So now we ask you, Lord, to give us our spiritual marching orders as we prepare to launch out into the deep on today. And help us, Father, to be steadfast, immovable, and always abounding in your work, knowing that our labor is not in vain. So we ask you, Lord, to empower us as we go. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. And I encourage you to be Christ chasers on today. Be steadfast, immovable always abounding in the work of the Lord. My brothers and my sisters, knowing that your labor is not in vain. God bless you and make today the best day of your lives.